Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Turford, and today we have a very special Let's Play for you right here on YouTube.com slash Ryan Turford. Um, I know I always usually say that my Let's Plays are very special, but today is a very special day. Of course, last night, um, from the day that you're watching this, was the Final Fantasy Uncovered event uh, in LA, where they basically talked about um, the release date for Final F Fantasy 15, as well as announced a new demo, which is what we're going to check out today right here on youtube.com slash Ryan Turford. If you like this video, like, subscribe, share with all your friends, all that good stuff. Um, of course, there's been a Final Fantasy 15 demo before, uh, episode Dusuke, which is, um, which was included with Type-0, um, but still hasn't been made to the public in any other way other than that. Um, and I haven't actually played that because I didn't actually play Type-0, so this is going to be a lot of fun, I think. Um, First of all, you should note that this will be my very first time playing Final Fantasy XV. I haven't played at any events. I haven't played Episode Dusuke. I really haven't played a Final Fantasy game, a new Final Fantasy game, since uh, Lightning Returns. So that was really sort of my last deep dive into Final Fantasy. But I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. Um, I love the things that Final Fantasy is doing. I like more of the, the, the turn-based games and the older games uh, more than the newer Final Fantasies. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't want to check it out, and I'm pretty excited to dive into this uh, demo of Final Fantasy XV. So we're going to switch over to the game now. Now, first of all, in case uh, you guys don't know, what's up with this bird dog looking rabbit thing with the, the, the unicorn horn? That's uh, Carbuncle. Uh, Carbuncle is actually one of the Final Fantasy summons. A very classic Final Fantasy summon, of course, from, from many games, uh, including your starting pet, in Final Fantasy XIV if you play as the Summoner class. Um, again, Carbuncle um, looks really, really awesome. Uh, just on, on the intro page here, it looks really cool. I, lo I love the, the music that's going on as well. Uh, it's not Uematsu this time, actually. It's, it, it's um, some other composers doing the work, but it still sounds really awesome. Uh, so we're going to dive in, and you guys can finally see what I think of Final Fantasy XV, because um, I haven't played this demo or anything else, so I, I haven't actually played this before, so... This will be interesting. Now, Final Fantasy XV is a game that I've wanted to be excited about, but I couldn't let myself be excited about it because it, it, it's it been 10 years since they announced it. They announced it at the PlayStation 3 reveal back in 2006. So it's been a long time coming, this game. So I, I, I didn't want to get my hopes up until like we knew when it was coming out and whatnot. Or even leaving what the final game looked like. Alright, so we got some random noises going on. Um, the voices, by the way, are all in Japanese uh, with English audio. It almost feels like... It almost sounded like the, the game was sort of freezing there. Um, that's, definitely, that's actually not my capture signal. That's actually uh, the Xbox One doing its Xbox One thing. Like, of course, we're playing uh, this on Xbox One. The demo is also on PS4 as well. As well as the actual game, so... Alright, so we're basically, uh, this character is the, the main protagonist from Final Fantasy XV. Um, he is a little kid, though, so in this. He's more of a teenager in the actual game, but... Apparently Carbuncle fetched our phone. <laughs> now, I thought I had subtitles on. Let me just... Uh, I guess we can't change it while the, the cinematic's going, okay. So, because there is the option for Japanese subtitle, like uh, English subtitles in Japanese. So that's what we went with. But I guess only Carbuncle has a uh, has subtitles, but not actually the main character. So let's see if we can. Let's see. We can move around now. Let's see if we can get into the menu. No? Alright, there we go. So, I apologize for that, guys. We didn't have subtitles. We didn't know. <laughs> he was. It sounded like he was making random groans anyways. I don't even know. We'll even throw names on. Just... Ah. There we go. Alright, so we're going to resume. So, first of all, uh, right off the bat, this game looks really gorgeous. Um, I love uh, the way this game looks. Um, so, we're going to sort of run around here and sort of... Uh, freestyle around this world. Looks really, really, really cool.
Alright, so I'm guessing we're collecting these yellow crystals for some reason. I don't really know why or anything like that. I, I'm still getting used to the way he's controlling, though, because he's sort of, like, flip-flopping all over the place when I uh, use the analog stick here, so. Alright, so something stirs in the dreamscape. So we're basically inside his, his dream world, essentially. Uh, that, of course, is uh, Titan. They actually showed it off at uh, the Final Fantasy Uncovering event. Uh, Tit Titan, of course, another classic Final Fantasy summon. Um, in the, the Basically, this trailer, this combat trailer they showed off at the show, um, he summoned Titan to kill out a bunch of uh, um, enemies. So Carbuncle is basically telling us, hey, we're asleep right now. But if you want to see everyone again, you gotta actually get to the end in order to wake up. Alright, so time is sped up. And I don't actually know what that does. It doesn't feel like it did anything. But that's okay. Oh man, th this camera is very, very, very sensitive. Um, in case you're wondering why, this is sort of like... Flipping and flopping all over the place. Okay, so there's more crystals this way, so we might as well grab them. Oh, it doesn't look like we can wall grab, <clears throat> so we can't actually get up there. Let's hop on this thing. So, the weather changed. I think this is basically... It almost feels to me like this is trying to show off sort of um, the different environmental effects and weather effects of... Uh, and sort of the final visuals of the game. Because if you remember, um, like, the, the last demo came out about a year ago, so... It's probably not reminiscent of what actually it, it, it's like. Alright, try equipping this for size, press start. Okay, so we gotta press the select button. And equip the toy sword. And the squeaky hammer. Alright, so let's try attacking. Alright, so he's way over there. We can't do the uh, the teleport jump that you uh, saw in the demo. Um, unfortunately, we don't have that, that ability yet. Because we're still a little kid, but that's okay. Cool! I, I kind of like the combat. Um, I don't like the, the lock-on system, but I feel like that's probably going to be more refined in the actual game. Um, when you actually play with his teleport teleport dash ability and whatnot. Because um, the, the main character's abilities are very focused around different teleports. So Carbuncle says to go that way, but I'm going to go where all these crystals are, because I feel like getting all of them. Oh, look at that. I, I really like the, the look of that um, that lake. That looks really cool. So something stirs in the dreamscape. Maybe we'll see another summon. Oh, that's really cool. That's uh, Leviathan. Um, one of the, the Basically the classic sea serpent sort of uh, summon. That's so cool. He just rises out of the lake. I mean, it, it, this is sort of giving us a look at a lot of the, the summons later in the game that we just don't have right now. Alright, so Carbuncle is telling us to go this way. Follow my tail. We gotta, we gotta jump in this hole, I guess. Alright, so what happens now? Alright, so it looks like we're going to another area. So, uh, auto-dodge enemies, of course, uh, the X button is for dodging, and then B is for attacking. Kind of weird that the B is the attack button, but, oh well. I mean, I, I almost would have thought of it, um, on the Xbox controller, um, like, having, like, B do the dodging and then X doing the attacks, but... You can't win them all. Okay, now we're really tiny. <laughs> we're, like, in a dog dish, basically. <laughs> This is a very fancy house, by the way. Although I think that this is actually his room, because he's um, he's a member of royalty, um, so he basically lives in a big castle uh, when the game starts. <clears throat> oh, I think you'll like these. Try throwing one. It'll be a blast. Alright, so we're going to hold B to grab a bomb, aim with L, and then launch it at your foes. Okay.
Oh, we can spawn a car. All right, so we got like a little little toy car we're driving around. This is really cool. Of course, the the game itself very much based around uh, driving because it's more of a, like a road trip game where essentially um, you and three other characters are sort of on a road trip across the countryside. All right, so he's on top of the table and I'm driving around in this car. Now, do we get out of this car? Okay. Now the real question is how do we climb up here? I guess we gotta like use the this castle that's over here. Once again, collecting more crystals. Oh very OCD about that, and I don't even know why. Oh, we got some enemies over here. We're gonna get them with our toy hammer. This the combat very much reminds me of uh, Kingdom Hearts. Um, but that was sort of uh, what we thought the combat was sort of going for when taking a look at the trailers anyways. Um, it very much seems like uh, a Kingdom Hearts game. Now let's try... I'm going to try maybe experimenting with uh, different combos by switching the weapons out. I don't think that's really there um, at this point, but... Also, the uh, in case you're wondering why it's sort of sticking like that, my my D-pad on this controller is very sticky, so it does not like to move. <laughs> it's not very responsive, so a lot of times uh, I'll press the button and it just won't do anything. All right, so we're gonna climb up using these books. Why does the kid have a bottle of wine in it, or I guess it's like a beer bottle in his room? That just seems dangerous to me. You don't want to keep glass around your kids, people. That's how accidents happen, or how they break glass. <laughs> Alright, so there we go all the way up here. We got more enemies, so let's take them out. Oh, we actually got hit. Although there's no HUD, so I don't actually know uh, how much damage we can actually take without actually dying. Oh, they, there's a bunch of coffee cups here. So the, basically, it's like his kid's room, but then there's also like a, a coffee table, like a, a dining room table and fucking coffee cups. That seems really weird to me. All right, there we go. So we defeated all the nightmares. So we can sort of meet up with a uh, carbuncle. Alright, so we can exit the house, apparently, if we go through this, like, made-up, like, block board, essentially. So let's try and jump over these blocks, or just awkwardly run through them and make the camera sort of try and vomit, I guess. Because it, it just didn't know what it wants to do there. Alright, so there we go. So we're moving on to the next area. Let's see what we got next. Again, so far, my, my takeaway for this game is that uh, the camera is still pretty janky. Again, it reminds me of... Like a, a, a less responsive uh, Kingdom Hearts camera. Because, um, again, I liked the camera in Kingdom Hearts, but sometimes it would be kind of annoying. And it seems like it's been a little bit more annoying. Or maybe it just takes some getting used to. I don't know. Um, maybe as we play the actual game, we'll probably get used to it a little bit more. Um, that being said, I, I feel like the, the combat's pretty fluid. Even though we have, like, sort of the base weapons at this point. Um, but it still it seems pretty cool. Alright, so now we're outside in the rain, of course. Without a rain jacket or an umbrella or anything like that. So we're looking for a long hallway. So that'll sort of lead out of here. I kind of want to see what this does. So the weather changed to now it's not rainy. Now it's a sunny day. Look at that city. It looks pretty cool. With the, uh, the, the sort of the uh, plateaus in the distance. So we're going to grab more of these crystals. Alright, so this gives us a present, I guess. Alright, so we got a shining hammer. And we'll equip these fireworks as well. These are th That's sort of what he was talking about. Uh, Carbuncle was talking about how we could throw them at enemies, essentially. 
All right, let's see what this does. All right, so Noctis tra has transformed. We transformed into like a an alligator, an alligator with with uh, little wings. I don't even know what the fuck this is supposed to be. All right, so we've returned to being Noctis again. We're gonna switch to the Shining Hammer because it, it's shiny. I like shiny things. I don't know if you knew this about me. Uh, it looks like we're gonna need the the sword to get the sword to get to him. Oh gee, Jesus! They don't need to, they don't need to not put that there. See this, this blue nightmare. We can't lock onto him, I guess. So I don't really have any way of seeing. Him. Okay, so we'll, we'll switch back to Noctis because it's probably better to take these guys out this way. Boom! We got him with firework. So let's go in for the kill. Boom! We got him with the shiny hammer. It's very shiny. I, I kind of wish we had some of the, the magic to play around with. Because um, that's probably one of the more interesting um, things I'm trying to see. Like, I wish I could see with the combat. Alright, so this transforms us into something. Maybe it'll transform us into something else. Oh, we're like... Kind of like a bowl? Here, let's get into the light so you guys can see what this looks like. So it's kind of like an elephant slash buffalo thing? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Alright, so we're going to just switch back and just run up this hill. I was wondering, I thought I saw the shadows coming in and I was like, wait a second, is there something overhead that we have to deal with? But I guess not. Uh, what's this do? Alright, time sped up. So it's sort of changing the time of day, so now it's night time. There we got it we got them with our shiny squeaky hammer of doom. Of doom! Alright, so of course we got boxes here. Um, so what we always do with boxes, we break them open with a toy sword. Because why not? That's that's why they're there, right? That's the way video games work, I suppose. It's video game logic for you, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so this should switch it back to... the day, possibly? Or just sped up time and then did absolutely nothing. Oh man, that probably would have really hurt. <laughs> but he's just like, oh, it's probably fine. Alright, so... Let's sort of see where the fuck we're supposed to actually go. Alright, so we're gonna run through this house. This house is ooh, quite gorgeous, actually. I really like the look of this house. Maybe your dream will end up with you in bed. Wow. Some great dialogue from, from Carbuncle right here. So we're going to run through this tunnel, and then let's see what happens next. Also, fun fact about uh, the demo that they pointed out, Carbuncle is actually a summon in the game, um, and the only way to actually get him is if you play the demo. So um, it's a free demo for everyone, so if you plan on playing Final Fantasy XV, of course you're going to want to check this out um, to get Carbuncle in your particular game. So it's still loading. Pretty long load times. Um, but, I mean, I imagine in the open world um, of the actual game, the load times probably won't be actually this bad. <clears throat> Alright, so we're outside. This is like the, Imper the, the, the Imperial Citadel, I guess. This is sort of the, uh, the main city. Um, of course, these steps are where, like, the original... Uh, trailer take place. Um, the Final Fantasy Versus 13 trailer um, took place out here. So we're run down here towards where Carbuncle was. But obviously this is still a dream world. Oh, Carbuncle! Oh, poor, poor Carbuncle. 
That guy's really huge. So it looks like we're gonna unlock uh, the ability to summon Carbuncle. Or, I guess, his dad is putting a picture- a, a figure of Carbuncle there? Alright, there we go. So now we're the real version of Noct. Uh, we just, like, rolled right into his attack. Okay, so that, the, the Y button throws his sword and we're able to sort of go towards them. Alright. Okay, so let's try sort of rolling away from his attacks. Alright, so that, uh, that's fire. Alright, so we ne what we need to do is we need to switch between uh, this sword and the other sword. Jesus! <laughs> we just can't get around him. Alright, so let's sort of do this, so... I hate the fact that it, this, all this is mapped to the D-pad because the D-pad on this controller, like I said, it, it sticks. It's very annoying. Oh man, we just can't get around that. Are we gonna die? No, nope, nope. Carbuncle's here to the rescue. It looks like. All right, so now we can sort of play around with the the warping, and we died, or maybe, no. Alright, there we go. So we got a lot of our health back. Jesus, as soon as we, like, warp into him, he just starts attacking us. Okay, there, so there we go. So now we can start sort of using our, our sword to teleport around some more. No, uh, it doesn't look like we can warp. Alright, there we go. So let's hang out up here. Oh, Jesus, I'm pressing the, uh, the X button thinking it's attack, but I guess not. Alright, so let's warp up here, and let's warp back to, uh, down to him. Alright, so let's hop up here again. All right, there we go. We took him down in probably the most awkward way possible. 
Alright, so now we're back to being a kid again. I feel like that boss basically was supposed to basically beat us down to unlock more and more abilities uh, that Carbuncle was able to grant, but grant us. I apologize for being not very great at it. Like I said, very first time playing, so I didn't imagine I would be too good. So, we're gonna jump onto this question mark one. Alright, so now we're gonna proceed to the ending, I guess. Because it doesn't look like there's anything else you can really go explore in the Citadel. So there's the car. That's the, the car that we use to uh, drive around in the main game. Apparently you can always be with your dad if you're riding around in a car. Aw. He has to leave car poor Carbuncle behind. Carbuncle is very adorable, by the way. He reminds me very much of the, the bird dog from The Last Guardian, although I know a lot of people were thinking about that. So we can choose to name him Carbuncle or change, change his name to something else. We're just going to call him Carbuncle. Congratulations on completing the Platinum Demo! Uh, however, Nox framed dream, fragmented dreamscape only offers a mere taste of what's to come. In Final Fantasy XV, you will join a grown-up Noctis and his dependable buddies on a journey across an immersive and expansive world. From us, all of us at the Final Fantasy XV team, including your favorite little magical guide, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Please be excited for E3. <laughs> Sorry, that's my favorite Square Enix line ever. Oh, look at that little chocobo. It's great. Which, oh, uh, come on. How gross is this? You finish the demo, it's like, hey, do you want to buy it? Do you, do you want to buy this game? Do you want to? We're going to say no, because I don't need to purchase the game again. All right. So it's like, oh, well, you can go back to the title screen and buy this game still if you want. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the idea of, of demos sort of trying to... Um, like, sell you on a game through playing it and getting allowing you basically to try it early, but come on, man. Like, really? Really? All right, so we're going to come back to me. Um, so I just sort of give my impressions on, on this demo. Um, again, I know you guys have sort of formed your own, but what I think so far, I think it's uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I do really think the controls and the camera are starting to have to get used to, but maybe after, like, the first hour or so, you're probably going to be fine. Um, ultimately, uh, the Platinum demo is pretty cool. Um, I kind of liked it. Um, again, I encourage if you guys are going to buy Final Fantasy XV eventually, just play through the demo. It only takes about half an hour to do. Um, again, it's mostly there to show off the environment and whatnot, um, and sort of give you a taste of the, the finalized combat. Um, but for the most part, it's good because it unlocks Carbuncle, like I said, for your main story if you decide to go with Final Fantasy XV. But I don't know, I'm, I'm more excited about Final Fantasy XV than I was before. They showed off a lot of great stuff last night. If you guys uh, missed out on uh, Uncovered Final Fantasy, uh, check that out on the, the Square Enix official YouTube page, um, and you should be able to check that out there. Anyways, that's going to do it for this Let's Play, but before we go, you can find me on Twitter, at Ryan Turford. That's T-U-R-F-O-R-D. You also find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Ryan Turford. Last but not least, you can find me co-hosting the Game Moose Podcast. We record every single week. Uh, me and Drew McMillan, of course. You can find us over at Facebook at facebook.com slash Game Moose Podcast. You can also find us on uh, talkmoose.com. That, that's the one. I was thinking twitch.talkmoose.com and that's wrong. That's not a website. Don't go there. And uh, last but not least, you can find us on iTunes. Just search for the Game Moose Podcast, or just Game Moose. It should come up right away. I also embed the link, uh, the iTunes link, in the description of every single one of my videos. Anyways, that's going to do it for this demo of this demo of Final Fantasy XV. I'm Ryan Turford, and I'm out.